collaboration with the Games Rating Authority, here's what families should know about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, rated PEGI 18. From what to watch out for to what makes this game great, this is the ultimate quick guide. In the UK and Europe, PEGI rates Call of Duty Infinite Warfare as PEGI 18, suitable for adults only, for extreme violence, multiple motiveless killing and strong language. The Games Rating Authority expands on its PEGI details by saying that Infinite Warfare is set in the distant future, after Earth has been stripped of its natural resources as a result of population growth and industrial expansion, prompting the nations of the world to unite together and form the United Nations Space Alliance, the UNSA. GRA states that strong bloody violence is a continuing theme throughout the game. In the main campaign mode, enemies can be blown to bits with various weapons, but there are no identifiable body parts left on the ground, although dismemberment and decapitation are more prevalent in the Zombies in Spaceland mode, during which melee encounters with zombie characters, explosions and the use of large calibre weapons will result in legs, arms and heads being left on the ground. The motiveless killing of innocent characters is another feature of the game, but this is restricted to moderate levels of violence. The sexual expletives fuck and motherfucker can be heard in the game. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is a military shooting game with a science fiction theme. The game is played from a first person perspective and gameplay mainly revolves around shooting human enemies on foot, either on the ground or in zero gravity, and occasionally in the cockpit of a space vehicle. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's campaign is single player only, but the game includes online multiplayer modes set in the same far future as the campaign, as well as a standalone mode called Zombies in Spaceland, in which players have to fight against waves of zombies in a 1980s theme park. Both multiplayer and zombies mode allow local split screen for two players to play offline or online with a single console. Split screen is not available on PC. Call of Duty's main rival in the military shooting genre is the Battlefield series, the latest of which is Battlefield 1. But the far future setting of Infinite Warfare also drops it into the same SF shooting territory of games like Halo and Killzone. In the far future mankind is spread across the stars, with a resource strapped earth dependent on outer colony worlds for supplies. The player takes the role of Commander Nick Reyes aboard the United Nations Space Alliance vessel Resolution as the USNA faces a threat from insurgent secessionists, the Settlement Defence Force. Infinity Ward are one of three rotating studios developing Call of Duty games, and were previously responsible for the Modern Warfare trilogy, as well as Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is available for PS4, Xbox One and PC for around £40 or $60, for the basic game, with a separate season pass costing around £40 or $50, offering new multiplayer maps and zombie expansions over the year following release. A legacy edition of the game offers a remastered version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare for current hardware for around £75 or $80, while Deluxe Digital and Legacy Pro editions combine games, season pass and Modern Warfare remaster in a package costing around the £100 or $100 mark. PS Plus or Xbox Live Gold subscriptions are required for console multiplayer. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's campaign takes around 6-8 to eight hours to complete, depending on ability, but the ever-popular multiplayer and zombie modes will add considerably more hours of play, with extra maps and options being added through the year by the season pass. Infinite Warfare might send the Call of Duty franchise to the final frontier, but it's very rooted in the 21st century in terms of its political concerns and conservative military ethos. While zero gravity, distant planets and futuristic weaponry are brought in to liven up the gameplay, this is still a story about brave men and women of the military authorities banding together to protect the status quo against rebels and insurgents who may have a point, but who always let that point down by sadistically gunning down innocents or blowing up civilians. The theme of resource wars projected into the future is a timely one, but Infinite Warfare sticks closely to its gung-ho parent series, rather than explore the implications in any detail. Call of Duty is an annual big budget entertainment event which brings people together, like Christmas TV specials or music festivals, and Infinite Warfare aims to provide bombastic familiarity alongside a twist of something new to keep things interesting. As ever, the production values cannot be faulted, with the usual huge set pieces and a cast of stars and cult favourites, from Game of Thrones' Kit Harington as the campaign's big bad, to a cheesy childhood favourite cameoing in Zombies in Spaceland. If the underlying gameplay of cover-based shooting and the package of campaign, level-based multiplayer and wave-based zombie mode is familiar, then that's not necessarily a bad thing for the friends and families who will be coming together and maybe taking time off work or college to celebrate this modern seasonal tradition.
Thanks for watching our Parents Guide to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Please tell us how your family got on with the game in the comments and subscribe for more Parents Guides.